Hi, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial, I'm going to show you a cool masking trick you can do to blend and combine unique effects. So whenever you're working with effects, there's certain effects, such as the offset effect, for example, that you'll see the parameters, there's a blend with original feature. So just for example, offset allows you to kind of offset the center point of the clip, a cool effect in its own right but some of these effects come with blend with original. So if I blend with original 50%, you'll see the original clip showing through 50% and then the offset effect showing through. That can be pretty cool, but you'll notice not every effect comes with blend with original. For example, if I just did the twirl effect in the same distort folder, then all we have for the twirl effect is just simply the parameters. Now there are ways that we can get around that if I was to duplicate the clip on top of itself, for example, and put the twirl effect on one and not on the other, and then just use the opacity to blend the two together or use different blending modes like screen or lighten. That's one thing you can do. You can also go to file new adjustment layer and you can apply effects on adjustment layers and then lower the opacity of those adjustment layers. That's another way that you can go about it. But a cool trick that you can do right on the video clip is applying whatever effect that you want on there. And then just on that effect, go to the create a new mask. So just a four point mask. And you'll see if we're in the program window, you just masked out that effect. So now the effect is only taking place within these bounds. You can simply increase the bounds of that mask to be across your whole canvas. So we basically have the original effect again, or the original mask. You can also use the mask expansion to expand it out. And then just lower the opacity of the mask on that effect. So now in essence, what, we, what we've done is created our own blend with original feature. So we can take any effect and add that blend with original tool, which gives us, unlocks a whole bunch of creative potentials for us to blend two together. I can even get creative with the masks and only do it like over half of the clip if I want, or the whole clip, whatever you want. But now I can just blend things together and I can still animate the, the effect. I can adjust all the parameters of things. We can create these cool blends. So this is just one way to create a blend with feature for any effect all in the same one. But remember, you can always stack clips on top of each other if you wanted to work with blending modes rather than just opacity and adjustment layers and those other ways that I've shown you. So if you enjoyed this video, definitely check out some of the other tricks and tutorials in the playlist on my channel. Subscribe to stay tuned for all of my new videos. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.